time. Okay, don't dance. No way. I just put that girl up and I did I don't know that's one to him. Oh, hi. <laughs> What's this? What's this hand motion? <laughs> Let me stop. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ronke. If you are new to my channel, I'm very sleepy. Honestly to God. I'm doing a get ready with me today. I'm going to be very, very chit chatty. We're just going to talk about life. You know, all the things we usually talk about. So I'm going to also be doing my makeup. God knows that I have no clue what makeup look I'm doing today. I hadn't really been uh, do exploring more like makeup looks and things like that. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be exploring some makeup, doing a really nice makeup look, you know, that kind of vibe. I don't know where we're going with it, but at the end, we will come out victorious. Yes. Uh, all the products will be listed in the description box. I'm also going to put what I'm using as I'm talking so that you guys know what is going on. <laughs> I'm testing out a couple of new products. Not not a lot. Just a couple here and there that I've been wanting to try as for a while. Uh, this primer I see I've been seeing a lot of people use it and I was like, okay. This seems like something fun worth to try. So I'm gonna use that all over my face first. Because you gotta start with primer. Yesterday I actually used it in combination with my Smashbox primer, but right now I'm just gonna use it by itself. <laughs> See how it is. Very different from the original professional. There's a bit of hydration to it, which I like. Um, so we'll see how that works out for me today. I have an update here. Last week, so if you guys don't know or you're new to my channel, I usually try to upload Tuesdays and Thursdays. Upper week, I got my wisdom tooth pulled. And I always try to update you guys in reality because look, it, I am a YouTuber full-time, influencer full-time, but I also have life stuff that goes on. And when that life stuff goes on, I feel like the best way to do things is to just come on here and give you guys a little bit of an update so that you know what's going on. Not that it's like you're kept in the dark. I don't really like keeping you guys in the dark at all. They say because you're pregnant, you should get your tooth pulled, that kind of thing. Please, wow. I didn't expect it to take a chunk of my week like that. I thought I was just going to get my tooth pulled. Yes, it was going to hurt here and there and then life will go on. Yes, I was very mistaken. That is not what happened in the least bit. Um, it took me out, all the pain and everything like that. And I'm very cautious about using pain medication, especially right now in my life. I don't want to use pain medication while I'm pregnant. I'm one of those people. So because of that, I was really, I didn't really want to take time and all. I mean, I ended up having to, but still, I just didn't want to. So that was a couple of weeks ago this year um honestly with like branding and like where i want to take my channel that kind of thing i knew that i was going to upgrade my equipment i've been using the same equipment now or the same vibe now for a while so this is nars uh natural radiance foundation you guys know that this is literally my new bay i used to use mac before and I still do here and there, um, but now this is like one of my favorite foundations. I had gone through a transition, obviously, by now, if you are watching my videos or if you are just stumbling on my channel for the first time. Hi, don't be a stranger. <laughs> After me and my husband uh, moved in, to be honest, I'd been using natural light and I'd be using my old camera. This year, I knew that it was time to finally settle in. And when I mean finally settle in, I mean like actually invest in equipment that I wanted because I felt like most of last year, I wasn't creating content that I was necessarily proud of. I know you guys are like, what are you talking about? But really, there's a specific type of content that I enjoy creating and I wasn't creating that content. I feel like I was just putting out content because I liked putting out content but I wasn't paying attention to like the quality what I wanted that kind of thing so this year I told myself okay let's get it it's 2020 2020 vision turn on you know turn on your glasses a little bit let's let's understand the way things are going I thought to myself I was like I think it's time for me to actually upgrade my camera and upgrade everything upgrade my lighting um, start researching again I 
I'm somebody who researched a lot when it comes to like photography, equipment, inf being an influencer. So because of that, uh, as I was researching, I figured out what I wanted. I got a new camera, got new set, got a new setup. You guys can see that this video is extremely high def. <laughs> Tell you that I'm so I'm just so happy about this this is you know if I was gonna think about the content that I want to provide for you guys this is the type of content that I want to provide you know high quality nice well lit you know you guys get my drift so this is really what I was working on last week. I put up my Nautilus Bridge video. If you haven't watched that, you can check it out up here in the cards. I put up my Nautilus Bridge video, but after that, I mean, that video was pretty chill. I didn't actually use my, my new camera because it hadn't actually come. Uh, so last week, my, my new camera and all my equipment finally came. So I love all the things that are going on right now. You don't understand how excited I am. I'm such a nerd, I swear, like. But, um, so basically, uh, I now thought to myself, I was like, okay, uh, since I'm doing a get ready with me, right, I will set up my equipment, set up my camera and just go. Now, if you have ever bought new equipment before, you know that that is definitely not how it goes. Most of the time when you buy new equipment, you really have to test it out. You really have to figure out how to use it, what setup you want to get that kind of thing now because i haven't i haven't uh really changed my equipment much in the past couple of years like i said so because of that i didn't really realize that there was a whole process that went into this whole thing so take me now i now went to go and try and set up my my lighting and everything the same day i was trying to record my get ready with me so obviously i wasn't able to record because i had to really figure it out and even to even today even as before i recorded i had figured some part of it out um but i still needed to figure out a little bit more so by the time i finally I didn't figure it out that day. I had to come on YouTube and usually I post like little posts here and there Telling you guys what is going on. Like I said, I really want a situation where we're having like an open communication You know, I don't want to just go off YouTube and you guys be like wait what's happening and things like that I like to really keep you guys in a loop. So I came online and I said, oh, hey guys Like I'm not gonna have a video today but still, you know, uh I'm gonna come back next week and give you guys three videos. So that's why this week I was like, all right, cool. I'm gonna give you guys three videos. <laughs> this is obviously one of the videos that I'm giving you guys, duh. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> that was weird. Uh, the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Foundation Stick in Espresso. You no, know, the thing is like when you're an influencer or when you're somebody who creates content, you forget that there's times that you have to invest in yourself and invest in what you do. Now I feel more confident, I'm more comfortable with this type of content that I'm creating. Um, this is the content that I've always wanted in terms of like quality, in terms of lighting setup, and I just decided that it was time. So if you are a content creator out there and you are watching this video just understand that sometimes you got to invest in yourself and it's okay to also figure it out as you go you know there's no rush to really figure things out i'm all about that journey i'm all about letting you guys know that nothing in life just comes as it comes you know what i mean nothing in life just pops up and it's like yes I understand so spending a lot more time focusing on the quality of my content also spending a lot more time focusing on the type of content I want to give you guys because you guys have noticed that I I had not been vlogging so I have not vlogged okay so this is yeah I don't think I've actually really wait have I even vlogged this year the reason why I feel the need to tell you guys this is because sometimes you gotta just come out and talk to people as how people are meant to be talked to you know i think that in our community sometimes we you know people uh always have the sense that everything is just straightforward you know and sometimes it's not straightforward sometimes things don't go as planned sometimes you figure things out as you go back to what i was saying i can't actually remember because i have pregnancy brain so i think i've definitely forgotten every single thing i was trying to say i was talking about i don't even know what i was talking about so. oh yes vlogging 
I have a lot of Sony batteries, like four or five. I actually vlogged a lot, uh, la the ending of last year. I did a Christmas vlog and everything like that. But the reason why I didn't put this up is because, as you guys know, I announced that I was pregnant. So I didn't want you guys to be in the vlog like, hmm, wrong hair, you're looking a little bit fat. <laughs> a little bit fat. <laughs> kind of held off on most of the vlogs that I created. However, uh, this year, I now could not find my camera battery charger. Every single week that went by, I kept postponing vlogging, and because of that, I just did not find the charger. So because I did not find the charger, that's why I did not vlog. Can you imagine the nonsense? So I finally just went to Amazon the other day, which is like two days ago, I was like, okay, I need a vlog. Now, if I've been using this Anastasia powder a lot lately, I switch up, see, the past couple of weeks, even though I haven't been recording, I've been putting on makeup, and every time I put on makeup, I switch up the products here and there because I want to start trying to test out new products. I want to see if I can find a new routine for myself. So I'm using the Anastasia Banana Powder. Uh, oh, that pizza now is here. Am I excited? Yes. <laughs> Usually put the powder on the cap of everything. And I just take it and I'm just gonna set my skin. I wanted to do like a little bit of a day in my life video because a couple of you guys were asking how I manage with Amari and being pregnant and having work. So I thought that doing a little video like that will kind of give you guys an inside look. This week is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just do a vlog of you know, a day in my life, typical work day. Uh, I have definitely been churning out a lot more content than I did last year, which I'm very proud of myself for. Look, sometimes you make goals, and those goals, you might not meet them, but it's okay to try again. You know, you just keep trying every day. Um, don't give up on your goals, you know? Okay, so this is a get ready with me, meaning like I'm doing makeup while I'm talking to you guys, but I've been contemplating doing just like a sit down video. If you guys don't know, on my Instagram, I do this thing where every Monday I do uh, mental health Mondays, and basically what that is is me just talking about mental health. You guys, I used to do inspiratorials last year, um, and because of that, I kind of stemmed off that, started a series on my IGTV called Mental Health Mondays. A couple of you guys have suggested that I either do a podcast or I do like a, uh, a YouTube video of the same series. I'm still trying to figure out the podcast side of things. Uh, I think I can do a podcast, obviously, but uh, I'm still trying to figure it out. I, 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 I'm hoping that maybe by March or April, maybe I would have put it on podcast, but for now, I'm still trying to figure it out. Still trying to see where things go. But because of that series that I created, um, I've been thinking about doing some chit chat videos. You guys were also asking about like pregnancy updates. I always put what you guys talk about or you guys ask me in consideration because I want to give you guys as much information as possible. But at the same time, I want you guys to know that I'm just one human being that is rec that records most of our content and things like that. So if I don't get to a question or a video idea, just keep asking me and I will do it. Uh, one of the videos that I really want to do is like the reality of pregnancy. So I've also been trying to figure out how to use TikTok. <laughs> Honestly, TikTok makes me feel old. I don't know why. I think it's because it's a new platform and you know, you see all these people like dancing, making all these cool creative videos and you're just there like, sorry, is it that you press this button to... How do you do these transitions guys i had to use a whole youtube video to figure out tiktok and i finally posted my first real tiktok i did like a little uh bbt bobbity boom moment where i was just like oh you know oh my god you were not cute before now you're cute kind of vibe um i was very proud of myself okay and yes I like TikTok a lot. I don't know. It just reminds me of a time where things were fun and stuff like that. It, I'm going to link my TikTok down below if you guys want to say hi. I'm going to try and start posting a lot more there also. See, all these social networks, there are a lot to, you know. I'm done with that. Let me just use, I'm going to use the P. Louise base. I'm using this a lot. Do you know that since I bought this thing, I have lost the cover and I have not been able to recover this cover since I got it. But... It is the reality of how makeup actually looks when you use it and I actually use this base quite a lot so I'm just gonna put a little bit and when I mean a little bit I mean a lot 
when I'm in a little bit and I'm just joking don't put too much I mean I was never actually an eyeshadow base girl until I I started using this base and I was like wait this is really nice sometimes I said it sometimes I don't I have to eat, okay? Food is live. All right. <clears throat> so going back to it, I'm pretty sure my eye has creased. Oh, it has definitely, but not too much, to be honest. It doesn't really crease that much. And I think it really dries down. This is the Venus XL2 palette. And you guys can see those colors are very, I mean, very very muted uh, to be honest that's probably why i have not used the palette for a while or at all because it's a very muted palette first color i'm going to use is ripe i'm just going to put that in my crease okay why did i just use this same brush all i know is that whew, i cannot wait to finish this tutorial so that i can finish that pizza that pizza i don't know what they used to make it whether it's something different but wow Anyway, uh, like I said, I don't know what look I'm going for. I just know that I'm gonna experiment a little bit here. I would change my lip up a lot, but I might not change my eyeshadow up a lot. So this year, I am definitely challenging myself to be a little bit more creative with my eyeshadow looks. And also, aside from that, um, I am also going to do a creative Valentine's Day look. I'm actually really excited about it. Um, I'm recording this tutorial on a what's today? <laughs> I'm re recording this tutorial on a Monday, so it's going to go up tomorrow, which you guys will see it on Tuesday. Do you get? But uh, I am also going to be doing a creative. I'm going to be doing a creative Valentine's Day look, and I haven't done one in a while. Somebody actually recreated like my old valentine's day makeup look like creative look and i asked you guys i was like what do you guys want me to do a wearable look or a creative look so what i'm going to do is i'm actually i'm actually going to do a little bit of both so i'm going to do so i'm going to be trying out uh the kylie cosmetics stormy line again another video that's coming out this week so in that video i'm going to do a wearable valentine's day look however i'm going to do a creative valentine's day look and put the video on my instagram i'm not sure about putting my the creative valentine's day look on youtube but let me know what you guys think if i should put it on youtube or not um so we'll see i'm still trying to deliberate and trying to figure things out as i go so i'm using this color sage which literally looks like sage uh i actually really like it a mixture of green and brown sometimes it's really pretty sage color to blend out the brown i can tell it's giving this like smoky green look i'm still gonna add more brown but i needed to blend out those edges of the brown really excited this year feels very different for me um it feels as though like for some reason like i feel more inspired i feel way more inspired i don't know what happened but i just started feeling very very inspired especially in the beginning of this year um i think makeup was a huge part of it starting to do more makeup looks again and really getting into that vibe uh kind of made me a little bit more inspired than I was. I think also really trying to uh, finally figuring out my schedule also helped me. Uh, for a while, it took, me, it took me quite a while to figure out my schedule of things and how things are going to work out for me. And, you know, I always tell you guys, I believe life is a journey. And because of that, I always take my time on the journey, you know. If I can't figure something out, I don't beat myself up too much, you know. I take a, a necessary amount of time to figure it out and when I do I do you know what I mean so that's really the vibe okay so I'm just gonna blend out I like how the green and blue are looking right now it's looking a bit interesting um, 
this is like the darkest color in the palette really need to wash my brushes you guys somebody asked me uh if i could do a video on washing brushes is that something that would be cool i think that's a it's, it's a viable topic you know so i'm just going to use classical and that small brush to define my eye really like packing it on because i want it to have like you have to update your software you know as a human being so I've seen that people sometimes like they would uh, use a cloth or like a makeup wipe to like clean the crease first and I think that makes sense because low key sometimes when I put my shimmer on my lid it doesn't stay on and I always just wonder like oh, why does it look like that it, it's almost like it doesn't give the pigment that it's supposed to give you know what I mean and you can't cut your crease like that so i'm going to use a little bit of makeup remover and a little kitchen towel to like clean off that part of my eye i kind of want to keep that nude oh it's that's not the color there we go there we go i want to keep that nude color going so I'm gonna use that radiant to like set yeah perfect and also it has a little bit of shimmer to it so I like it a lot there you go This is the girl boy brow set now I have I've talked about this a lot in my tutorials I do this mainly because I like a soft brow especially because lately I've been rocking a lot of blonde hair a soft brow always a makes the eyeshadow pop a little more and B it kind of mutes out your brows without taking out all the color line my eye brown lip so I'm gonna do a brown lip but I'll do a brown lip ombre mm -hmm. chestnut lip pencil Smashbox always on matte lipstick don't say too much I don't want to hear you right now just chill Coming. I'm gonna add my naturally transformed on top of it. So see, better than I thought, but I love this so much. I'm glad it took my time. Okay, these are the kind of things that I want to take my time. So let me go put on my lashes right now, and then I'll be back. Oh, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Oh! oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think down below. Even though I like it a lot, honestly. Yes. Oh. I put on my lashes. I always have a link to my lashes. Don't ask me why I'm doing this. It's just because this look looks so nice. Oh my god. Whew. I need to be doing more of this type of looks. Let me go and finish my pizza. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Comment down below, like I said, what pregnancy videos you guys want me to do. I could definitely do some like sit down talking videos, or I could just do more of this beautiful makeup. I don't know why I'm doing my neck like that. Okay, let's like, do comment, share, subscribe, everything, 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 and I'll see you guys next. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>